Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're going to show you how you can use the Garmin Explore app to sync GPX files across to a compatible device. I'm using a Garmin eTrex SE device today. It could be something like the Garmin GPS Map 65S. And what we're showing in this video is how you can sync a GPS file, GPX file, sorry, from a great new website called the Cheviot Round dot com which has a new 52 mile challenge route in Northumberland to test yourself within 24 hours is the challenge so I'm on the www.cheviotround.com website and if I touch on the three bars at the top of the screen there's various menus you can go in I'm on the home screen at the minute where if you scroll down there's loads of information about this new Cheviot round with some videos with what it's all about if I touch on the menu icon at the top again, there's information about how you can record an attempt and submit it to the cheviotround.com website. But I'm actually going to download the electronic GPX files first that we can use to navigate with on a compatible device. And then we'll show you around the Explore app from Garmin that we can use to sync across to something like the eTrex SE or GPS map 65s unit or any unit that's compatible with the Garmin Explore app so I'm going to touch on the round and then I get a list of all of the different uh, routes that we've put on here or that have been put on sorry by the Cheviot round so there's actually the complete route if you're going to do the complete challenge just under 52 miles and an option to download anti-clockwise or clockwise the GPX file as you scroll down the page, there's other shorter legs that you can download to try. You're just looking for the option where it says download file underneath the word GPX. So if I go to the one at the top here where it's got Cheviot round clockwise GPX and touch on download file and then I get prompted on my phone to download and where it's going to go to. It's going to go to the downloads on my phone. Everyone might have different options on their phone, but it's basically wherever you normally download files to on your phone. That is now downloaded. So I'm going to go to the Garmin Explore app, which I've already downloaded from either the Play Store or the App Store, depending on your phone. Now, on this app, we do have um, loads more videos, training videos on www.gpstraining.co.uk underneath the GPS store. We do have an online training course that you can sign up for that has videos on using the Explore app where we go into a lot more detail. If you've purchased a GPS product from gpstraining.co.uk, you do get access to the videos for a year as part of your GPS purchase but we'll just show you briefly how you can create a folder in here to sync with your compatible gps device so i'm going to touch on the icon at the bottom and um, that looks like three lines with dots to the side it's actually the second one in from the left and where it says edit at the top i'm going to touch on edit and say add to add a new folder and create a new collection so i'm going to call it the name of my gps etrex SE, I'll just call it something like Master Sync. So this is the folder. Anything I put in here, I'll then set this to sync with my device. So you could give it a different name, just something that makes sense to you, that anything you import that you then want to sync with your GPS device, we just find it easier to create a master folder. So I'm going to say OK there, and I've now created that new folder. I must touch on Done at the top. So I've now got the new folder, eTrex SE Master Sync. I had created a folder earlier that I've been playing about with, with a unit, but I just wanted to show you this, doing it from scratch. If I now touch on the icon that looks like a GPS and a watch, it's the third one in from the left, shows my eTrex SE, which I've already paired with the app at the top. And if I then touch on it and then touch on eTrex SE again at the top, just give it a chance to load. Just give me two seconds there. That's just been a bit slow because it's trying to sync. And it says sync settings. So where it says sync settings, that's what I'm going to touch on now. That was just my phone froze up for a second there. So apologies, I touch on sync settings. Rather than sync everything, which every folder you've created, it would try and sync that all across to the unit, which would cause problems if you've got lots of stuff. The best thing to do is select sync selection. And then underneath there's like a white box where at the minute mine says eTrex SE Sync. You would touch in there and then you pick 
the main folder that you've just created. So I've created this new folder that at the minute has nothing in it. Now that does mean if I've already got stuff on my device, when it syncs, it will clear the stuff off my device. This is me starting from scratch with a new folder with nothing in it. So this is the new collection folder called Etrex SE Master Sync. Hit the red arrow top left of the screen. So it's now telling me that when I sync anything um, with my Etrex SE that I've got connected, it's the Etrex SE folder that I need to put stuff in to sync. So now I've got that ready, I'm gonna go back to the very bottom left icon, which is the map icon. I'm gonna to touch on the plus symbol in the top left and select import GPX file. Touch on e import GPX file, and it shows you all the stuff that I've downloaded to my download. So you just find where your downloads are on your phone. I'll touch the Cheviot round clockwise. Tells me that it's imported it. So I'm going to touch on done. It creates a new collection called Cheviot round. So what I'm actually going to do is touch on the little footprint symbol. So this tells me it's a track where it says Cheviot round clockwise. Where it says collections, I'm going to touch on collections and scroll down the list and add it to my Etrex SE sync collection. So now it will be added in there and hit the little back arrow at the top. And what I'm going to do now is convert it into a course because I do find the courses sync a lot quicker. A course is really just a track that someone's recorded that, that we convert for speed of transfer and then you load it on your GPS device as a course. So what I'm going to do is hit the back arrow top left. I'm going to go into the folders icon which is the three red lines at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to scroll down the list. I call them folders. They do actually call them collections in the app. Where we can see the Etrex SE sync folder, I'm going to touch on that. I've got the footprint symbol, so that tells me it's a track. Um, the two drawn pin symbol would be a root. The little wavy symbol is what I'm going to convert this to, which is what we call a course. So I'm going to touch on the Cheviot round clockwise footprint symbol. I'm then going to touch on the three red dots top right of the screen and select copy as course and say copy. I'm just going to say no there because I'm not going to sync it straight away. So it's now in here as a course and a track. So I'm just going to hit the back arrow top left of the screen and back arrow again. So you can now see I've got the track and the course in this folder. I'm actually going to delete the track. So I'm going to touch on edit touch on the track symbol, which is the footprint symbol and say remove. And now I've only got the course ready to sync to my device. I find the courses sync a lot quicker. Select done, top right of the screen. And I'm just gonna hit the red back arrow to come back out. So I'm back to the main menu. Touch on the symbol that looks like a GPS. And you can see it's already syncing at the top. If I actually touch on Etrex SE there, you can see it says last sync today at 10 o'clock. I can touch on the two red um, arrows the top right just to resync once it's finished just to make sure it's synced across. And now that course um, the Cheviot round will be on my Etrex SE or whichever device you've synced it across to. So I hope you found this video useful on being able to use the Garmin Explore app to sync from the Cheviot round dot com website which I've just opened up again the www Cheviot Round website, the actual GPX file onto a compatible device using the Explore app. And thanks for watching.